Hey folks, Dr. Mike Hizertel here for Renaissance Periodization, Hypertrophy Made Simple, video number four. If you want more details, check out the Hypertrophy Guide Central Hub on our website and all the YouTube videos that we have that are longer form that explain all this stuff in much more detail. Here we go. How heavy should you lift for hypertrophy? Well, from the scientific experiments and the theory, we know a couple of things. Anything under roughly 30% of your 1 repetition max, lower than 30% of your 1RM, does actually grow muscle, but not very efficiently per working set. It's just not a ton of muscle per working set, so it's very inefficient. You have to do a ton of sets to get the same growth. And it causes a lot of systemic fatigue because a bunch of the reps you're doing aren't even hypertrophic. A lot of the reps only get to be causing lots of muscle growth towards the end of a set. If you're doing a set of 50, the first 40 reps are sort of more waste of time than not. And this kind of training tends to convert your muscle fibers more towards slower twitch variants, which actually later don't grow as much as faster twitch variants. So it's kind of a self-exhausting, self-defeating strategy. You may think, okay, we'll go heavier. Anything greater than 85% plus of your 1RM, 85 to 100% or more of your 1RM, does absolutely grow muscle. But not very efficiently per working set. If you want to grow muscle doing sets of two, you're going to be in the gym for a really long time. It takes a lot of sets of two like versus sets of 10 or something like that. And this kind of training causes a lot of joint and connective tissue fatigue. You could want to put on size doing doubles and singles, but you will beat your body up to an absurd extent. And on that very same note, the injury risk is much higher. So maybe lifting less than 30% 1RM is not a greatest idea and lifting more than 85% 1RM is not the greatest idea, which leaves us with our first recommendation. You wanna train with roughly weights in the 30% to 85% of your 1RM range, that will cause the greatest muscle gains. What that really means is sets of roughly five to 30 reps close to failure are absolutely your best bet for hypertrophy. It doesn't mean sets under five don't work, they just don't work as well. Sets over 30 do work, they just don't work as well. Number three, some exercises are really just best suited for a variety of reasons, which we explain in other videos, for more like the heavier five to 15 part of that range. Anti-gravity exercises in which you have to support yourself against the load and gravity, uh, rows, squats, deadlifts, overhead press, and stuff like that, better for low reps. On the other hand, machines and isolations and other exercises like that, dumbbell movements, are better in the 15 to 30 rep range. So you get a good mix doing different exercises. And lastly, using a variety of loading ranges is probably the best bet. So you might wanna do most if you're intermediate, especially most of your training in the 10 to 20 rep range, maybe 50% of it, and then 25% of your training, you know, the volume per week that you do in the five to 10 range and 25% in the 20 to 30 range. A good mix is good. The best thing is to find the ranges that seem to hit your muscles individually really, really well, stick to those, and when they get stale, switch it up. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. See you for the next video. 